morning, Michael Maxi. I am looking for assistance on what to do about uh, the bubbling up of my trailer roof. Hi, Chris Rico. I see you there. Uh, there, this is the roof of my trailer. Uh, this is the air conditioner. The package should be coming today. know about RV maintenance. Uh, it's bubbling up. This is the roof. The, that's the edge, right? Not sure what to do here. Clearly a collection of water. Here. posted it. That's what it looks like all the way across. This is my air conditioner. This thing is 29 feet long. Um, I have some ceiling and stuff to do. I, I haven't done any maintenance on the roof yet. Hey Joshua. Yeah, I haven't done any maintenance up here. So I have a caulking thingy. A strap came off of the side right here on both sides and so I just ripped them off I actually cut them and then I ripped them off um, looks like these are the gutters Morning. I don't have leaks but I'm worried I will so I'm trying to be preventative if that makes sense hi Andy Campbell that just doesn't look good, right? Um, I got, actually came up here to look at the wine guard thing to install my Starlink. Hi, Spin. Oh, miss you too, Spin. That's okay. I figured um, I would just go live and post this and then see if anybody has any comments. Like, for example, right here, this is really good caulking. So I just want to know what I should do to prevent. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's grackle feet. Is that grackle feet? Those peppers. So, bubbling is water. Oh, I need a protective film. Okay. So, it, is there anything I can do about it before it starts leaking into the, you know, leaking into my trailer inside? Oh, oh, here we go. The air conditioner was on last night and there's water coming from it. Those are my questions. I appreciate you all. I'm about to head out there. I am crowdsourcing help. What's up, golden boy? Hey, I see you there. This is what I do for everything, but I don't know what, so here we are. Um, <laughs> Bubbling is water comes under the protective bubbles. Can't do much, Rye Rye says. Okay. Hi, Julian. Top is a whole membrane. Oh. Dicor sealant, says Joshua Hutt. Okay. Hi, Joshua. Dicor sealant. Okay, I have lap sealant. Um, is that this? I need to do a protective layer of like the rubber coating, I think, right? To protect it from don't know really what I'm doing. Hey, what's up, Doug Johnson? Thanks for those donations yesterday. A temperature fix, get some flex seal. Okay, get some, I have some, uh, or temporary fix, okay. Self tappers for that side. Okay, I actually have a roll of sealing tape that I bought and then two can thingy, canisters of lap sealant. Uh, Stephanie Ball is here. Hi. But normal, as long as no holes, you are good. Okay, cool. Um, that's normal. Okay. All right. And then one last question while I have you here. Uh, this is sealed in, but this is where I want to put my Starlink 
um, version, my other Starlink. I want to install it here on the roof, right? And then I want to get it, the modem inside of here, which connects to the master bedroom, which is down here. Well, there's only one bedroom. So the bedroom underneath, but I'm going to have to take up the ceiling and that worries me because I don't, I just want to make sure there's no holes. Um, if anybody has any recommendations for that, please let me know. And the cable will come out here, obviously, and then the Starlink dish will go like this, right? Um, I'm assuming there's wood here somewhere. Obviously, that's a joist. I don't know anything about roof joists. So if you have any info on roof joists for an RV travel trailer, this is a 2021 Keystone Hideout 262BH which stands for bunkhouse, but there's no bunkhouse anymore. So yeah, that's it. Hi, Alvaro. It can be peeled off. Okay. Scrape old sealant and put down new. Okay. R-E-S-K, thank you. That's Dicor sealant. Okay. Find the leak for sure, then either fix or reroute water off of the roof. Okay, that's good information. Because, like I said, for example, my air conditioner was on last night. You can see the water coming down, which is going to the gutter, right? Let me clean up the gutters if there's anything in there. Uh, which goes that way and that way. Run the cable through the wall. That's what I was thinking, Steph, so that I don't have to come up here and do anything. Because I ultimately want to put solar up here and I guess putting the starling. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for your help. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I will be seeing you in a little bit. Hopefully on its surface. So it can stick a little bit works well. <laughs> yeah, I wish I were in Phoenix, but I'm here. Good morning, Uncle Yukon. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate it. Michael Max, I see you there. Get an exacto knife, cut along the bubbling to release the trap water. Ah, uh, okay. Because it's probably just going to mold in there, right? Like, that's just what's going to happen. Okay. This is very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, I feel. Thank I look happy. Uh, yesterday was rough. Thanks, Steph, for being there for me and everybody. So. I don't have a ladder on the back of this, but I did buy a telescoping ladder. Good morning, Duran. So it's 15 feet. I can see that there's trap water right here. This is Joshua Hutt so this is dye core sealant. That's good to know. Uh, this is my, my shower is beneath here. Uh, actually don't, oh, maybe that's the fridge and I think that's the vent for the oven or the stove. Appreciate you all so so much. All right, I'm going down. Four inches. Here we go. Going down, down. Oh, that's sketchy. Here we go. Ooh. 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 Telescoping ladder. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, almost to the ground. Uh, and we're safe. All right. I'll see you all in a little bit. Thank you so much. Um, if you have any final comments, please leave them in the comments uh, after the video ends. I'll see you in a little bit. Mwah. Bye.